I don't know what you've watched, but I saw the Aladdin trailer, and it was <sighs> very upsetting. Actually, it's not even the whole thing. It's just Will Smith. Yeah. So at the beginning of the trailer, when the music plays and you see the, was that a tiger, a lion? It's a tiger. What mm-hmm. is the, what's the mouth yeah. that you go into? A tiger? So, yeah. I think so. It, maybe it is. A, I don't know. I feel like it's a tiger. Maybe a bear. I think it's a tiger. I think it's a tiger. Anyways. So when that opens up and you hear the music in that scene, I was like, I, I'm actually kind of excited for this. This this feels worth existing, which yeah is way more credit than I would have expected to give it. Then it started going on, and then you started seeing the other pieces, the other songs, and all that stuff. And it was like, oh, okay, this mm-hmm. is this is already old. It's only a minute into the trailer, and I'm already tired of this new rendition of the movie. Like it, it just doesn't seem like it needs to happen, you know. Then it gets when? to the end yeah, of no, the trailer and Will Smith the pops point out. Where, where you know they're like, all right, here's the build up and reveal. Yeah. It's what you've all been waiting for. He looks Blue Will Smith. So bad. The CGI looks bad Blue in itself. Weight. Which I'm sure that he's not, but he just looks. Well, he looks like they made him bigger, you know? Oh, well, yeah, I'm sure they did, but it doesn't, he doesn't look shredded like Robin Williams, Genie. Was Robin Williams, Genie, shredded? Because I feel like they look pretty similar. I don't know. He had that really small waist. (laughs) Well, he didn't have a waist. He just turned into smoke wisps. Exactly. But so my, my thought on it is while that looks terrible, is he's going to... Uh, turn himself into a Will Smith looking like person. The character, the genie is going to. Oh yeah, of course, because Will Smith can't help but to be Will Smith. Well, so in the original, correct me if I'm wrong, but the genie Uh transforms himself into someone who looks more like a person. So someone with legs that walks around, right? So he can kind of fit Uh, in. I believe he's got like a few different, uh, uh, personalities and yeah yeah he can yeah so i think will smith is just gonna look like will smith he's gonna be blue for that beginning scene and he's gonna be blue at the end when he's freed but other than that he's just gonna Mm -hmm. look like him a normal will smith maybe in different costumes and stuff but like i don't think he's gonna be cgi very much of the movie at all right Ah, uh, see that. See none of what you're saying. I have a problem with, mm-hmm. except for that it's Will Smith, and I'm just so tired of him. Yeah, he, I wish he would go away. I wish he would take his kids and his wife and just <laughs> go retire somewhere. Like they don't need to. Like, well, just you, they have so much money. Just go away. You've done enough. <laughs> Do you think You've he's done a, enough? A Scientologist. I I thought it was confirmed. Is it not official? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. It would that. not surprise me to find that out. Or it would also wouldn't surprise me to find out he has his own religion that he made up. There you go. That's a good idea. What would it be called if that's the case? Oh, just Will I Am. The, I don't know. The Fresh Prince of Princes? Then to do with the Fresh Prince. Um. Yeah, so, so tired of all of them. <laughs> you're, I'm guessing you're not excited for Aladdin. What do you think about it before you saw the trailer? Oh, they did a like a teaser a good while back, uh-huh. right? And it was kind of like that opening scene, and it's it's like a shot for shot little remake uh, of the cartoon, and it or the animated one. And I thought that's pretty cool. This will be interesting. And then I found out that Will Smith was going to be the genie. I didn't know how I felt about it yeah. just because I love Robin Williams. And not that that has anything to do with Will Smith, but some people it, like like uh, Hugh Jackman and Wolverine, right? Mm. It's like I don't see anyone else in that character. And then when I saw this trailer, I was quite disappointed because yeah. I still had a little bit of hope. 
and it's gone. And at this point, after even seeing it, I'm, I wish, why can't Disney just get back to making their original stuff? Everything is a live action remake. Well, so Disney, what has Disney like made coming out this year? Outside of Pixar, right? Pixar has been doing everything. Disney is just kind of relegated to doing um, Marvel remakes. Star Wars. Yeah, that's like, true. They have remakes and sequels. They haven't really done anything it's, new for a long time, like a new property that's not Pixar. Pixar, because well, Pixar is kind of its but, own thing. Right, but would you consider that? Did, I mean, that was that's still their property, so. Yeah, but Disney. I know what you're saying. As far as actual Disney, Disney, like, um, I couldn't even tell you the last thing that wasn't a remake or a sequel or yeah. a reboot. Yeah, that's all it's been. Just like the pure Disney stuff. I wonder if they've kind of given up on that aspect and are just using that for what they've They're already like, done. We've done enough. Yeah. We're just going to rehash everything. <laughs> Mary Poppins. Uh, uh, just everything is... A re- it, it, they're just going to make a live action of every single animated movie. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, what what They've else? They've already done they... Jungle Book, right? And that's fine. Jungle Book, it wasn't Beauty bad. and the Beast, Cinderella. Um, but they've got... You know, so Aladdin. they've got... They've got Aladdin. They've got Lion King coming. Lion they've King's got a uh, Little Mermaid coming. They've got Dumbo coming. I heard that they've got Mulan coming. Like it's oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's pretty much everything. Every and then I guess if you f- if you really think about it, ha- a lot of their even animated stuff isn't. I did it came from books and earlier stuff like yeah. uh, Little Mermaid's not technically. You know, a Disney creation. I don't even think Aladdin is really a Disney creation. It's uh, an adaption, and that's yeah, fine. I don't I'm pretty sure Aladdin is really old. Yeah, I don't know what Aladdin the is. The story, at least. Yeah, yeah, I don't know if it was a book itself or if it was written into a movie. But, yeah, I'm not. I think I'm, it's an adaptation or adaptation, whatever you call it. Yeah, I'm not excited for Aladdin at all. Mulan, I'm, I could be wrong, is based on a real person. Uh, maybe, uh, Hercules is not their own. Uh, but all the maybe story- Tar- Nope, not even Tarzan. Jeez, they got nothing. I'm sick of Disney. <laughs> all the stories. Now that are- I really say it out loud, I'm done with it. <laughs> all the stories are original, though. Right? Well, most of the stories. <sighs> what do you mean? As in, they're not just. Like, uh, so the Jungle Book is not an original because that was a book that was a novel that they took and adapted into being a Disney movie. Correct. I think most of the other stuff is original, isn't it? Like it was. Well, that's what I'm saying. All that stuff that I just named is not an original Disney property. But so Aladdin was a book beforehand. Is that what you're saying? I'm I'm not a hundred percent sure, but I'm pretty sure it's based you, on a book or something like that. You have to like be 100%. Arabian. If you're not a hundred percent, you need to stop talking right now. Uh, then we're gonna have to cancel this podcast. <laughs> oh man, I got way too many tabs open. No wonder why my internet's being terrible. That makes more sense. Um, but yeah, <laughs> it, I don't know. Like I feel like. Mulan makes a lot more sense to me to be live action. Um, yeah, okay, and that's fine. But Aladdin, it, like, it doesn't, it feels like it doesn't need <laughs> to be redone. You know, like it. Aladdin was a book, just so you know. It was, okay. It's confirmed. Yeah. Confirmed. Phew. I thought I was going to have to kick you off the podcast. I thought so. I was pretty sure it, it's in a book called Arabian Nights. Mm. Um, but yeah, so like the, I don't know, like, Lion King, I also feel the same way. Like, I feel like it's only going to tarnish the original by remaking it. It only, yeah, that's all you can do. Like, for some reason in my head, Mulan will work, but that... Because it's mostly people. Yeah. And, it, I mean, it's a war story, right? Like, there's a... It was and ki- because it's based on a real-life person, so it actually happened without CGI at some point. At some point. Well, I don't think the dragon was real. Mushu. Uh, yeah, positive that was real. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, 
But yeah, so no, I even Pocahontas is based on a real person. See, none of these. They don't have any original stories. I don't know. Maybe <laughs> Five Goes West. I don't even know if that's Disney. I'm gonna say it's probably not. <laughs> I I am not sure, sir. Rescue Rangers is their original. I didn't realize. Name. I didn't realize the can of worms I was opening up by bringing this up. I didn't know how sensitive. I didn't, I didn't know how upset <laughs> this was gonna make me. <laughs> yeah, you. you I'm all. Because I was thinking about it. Yeah. I'm like, okay. You know, I'm. I guess it's not. Maybe it's not fair to Disney. I'm sitting here saying that they don't do anything original anymore. When in reality, they never have. So this is just par for the course. <laughs> well, Pixar. Pixar has been mostly original. Uh, yeah, but I don't. <sighs> Again, well, yeah, Pixar. It's... Pixar was based off of Steve Jobs' company that Disney bought. Right. That's the way that all shook out based off of his company what do you mean like he started i think it. he was a so he, did he start Pixar? yeah from my understanding i know he was involved so from my understanding steve jobs started pixar disney acquired them then they left at one point and then i want to say after he died they reacquired it or maybe I, I have my timeline wrong or i'm just making stuff up i think part of that is right i don't know about all of it that's disney for you adapt yeah. readapt says millennium mouse exactly. disney is the worst disney everything disney has touched it has gotten really bad and i know people always want to point to marvel and say that disney like that's disney but that's it's really not like it's, when, it, it's as disney as star wars mm, no i would say star wars is worse but when you see when disney acquired marvel when disney started like producing it they were all the same. All the movies yep. were really safe. And at some point, something broke. And they're like, we can't keep just making the same movie over and over. And it's like they broke out of that that mold and started making more original stuff. And I, I don't think... I mean, sure, you can credit that to Disney. But I, I think that's like almost in spite of Disney. What would you... S- <sighs> yeah, I don't know. Because how much involvement do you think Disney has in the Marvel movies? Or do you think they just let the dude do his thing? I think just They just have like the one, the one guy, uh, Kevin Feige? 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 Is it Feige? It's Feige, I'm pretty sure, yeah. Furby, okay. Furby. And he, they let him kind of dictate everything? Yeah, I think so. I think, I think he has a big handle over it and i know with star wars there's like kathleen kennedy who's in charge of it um but i don't know like star wars versus marvel feel like completely different um well obviously universes but like completely different companies running the show like star wars now when when i brought that up what i meant was it's star wars is Mm, I don't even know what I was trying to say. <laughs> uh-huh. It's it's a Disney property, but it's not Disney. So you, I don't think they get credit for any of this stuff that we're talking about. You don't think they get credit for who? Because Disney, so Disney bought Lucas, right? Right. I don't think they bought Marvel. I don't think they bought Marvel Studios, did they? Like it was like a, more of a partnership than like an actual acquiring I'm pretty sure Disney owns 90% of entertainment in general. It's not that far off. 5% is Hollywood video still holding out. (laughs) Uh, Millennium Mouse says, to be fair, it's how they adapt a source material, and sometimes it's hit or miss. Star Wars is a beast of its own. Its own beast. Yeah. No, I, I don't know. Like... I don't know. I don't like Disney, basically, what it comes down to. I've been disappointed in everything they touch, it seems like. I do like Marvel Pixar. most of the time. Pixar is good. That's fair. Have Maybe you I don't seen a Pixar Disney. movie that you didn't like? Uh, yes. Cars 2. Which one? Cars 2 is really Yeah, bad. Cars 2 sucks. Yeah, I agree um, with that. I don't have like a full list in my head that I can just pick out of, but there's uh, the dinosaur one wasn't great. Um, the good dinosaur. The last dinosaur. Oh, the good dinosaur. Good dinosaur. Awesome. Yeah, that one was okay. That was kind of boring. Yeah, uh, Finding Dory was not mm-hmm. great. It was, it was weak, but yeah. I think 
Uh, well, that's kind of like because I think Finding mm-hmm. Nemo was so great. It's kind of like Black Mirror, right? It's kind of got that same issue to where they started off so <laughs> strong, and now yeah. that they're making, you know, like if it's out of ten, right? If they're making six and sevens, which it would be great generally, it feels like such a departure from you know the nine and ten that they were doing. And so, yeah. even though they're making good things, it's it like pales in comparison. So it feels worse. Yeah. But uh, yeah, that's that's exactly it. Cars two, Monsters U, Good Dinosaur, Dory, Brave. Monsters U wasn't too bad. Yeah, I didn't mind Monsters U. I thought that was a fun, like a cool way to do a prequel. Yeah, I agree. But the other ones, I mean, all the Toy rough. Stories are great. Cars, the first Cars is great. Although Toy Story Nemo's four. Great. Toy Story 4 makes me nervous. I'm very nervous. I'm glad you're not listening, Kenneth. I'd be worried if you were. Oh, no. Now he's listening. Oh, great. Uh, Inside Out and Coco are great. Do you not like those Millennium Mouse? Oh, yeah. I think those are really good. <laughs> um, but, yeah. So, have you been watching anything else Wally. this week, Taylor? Fantastic. Um, I, just, I mean, I've been watching some uh, TV shows. Uh, I haven't. Oh, you know what? Have you seen the movie Blood In, Blood Out? No. Or have you even heard of it? Uh. Uh-uh. Blood In. Early Blood '90s out. movie. It's okay. So it, it's 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 about uh, a Mexican gang, uh, yes. like in I want to say Los Angeles in like the '80s and '90s or something like that. Yeah. Uh, it the is bloods? so long. Was it the Bloods? It's, it's not the Bloods. It is the Vatos Locos. Okay. It's not a real... I don't believe that it's a real game, but the, this guy that I work with, he talks about it all the time, so I finally decided I was going to watch it. Yeah. It's like a three and a half hour movie. <laughs> yeah, I have be, not finished yet. You and it's still, with those. It, <laughs> but it still feels way shorter than Aliens. Yeah. Oh, man. We'll, we'll get to that. But, <laughs> but if you're asking what I've watched this week, that movie has taken up my whole week pretty yeah. much. There was another one you watched last week that we didn't get to talk about. You said it was Bohemian Rhapsody. Oh, Bohemian Rhapsody, yes. Have you seen this one yet? I have not. But how was it? Do you like Queen? Um I yes and no. I like Queen in the same way I like bubblegum ice cream. Where it's like, oh, this is good for a bite. No, this no, is no, no, interesting. No. And then it's like, oh, I can't eat any more of this ever again. It's an interesting. Uh, it's perfect. The first bite you take a bowl of ice cream, you're like, "Hmm, this is you know different, but I, I like it." Then you take a couple more, and you're like, "Nope, I'm good." <laughs> That's kind of how I felt. Well, about how Queen. do you feel about the actual song Bohemian Rhapsody? Every movie feels shorter than Aliens. Yeah, Sam, so I made Sam watch <laughs> the first half of Aliens, and it almost killed her. Um, <laughs> Millennium Mouse said, "I've seen Blood in, Blood out." Um, it's not that I don't like them; that's they're mediocre. I think Coco's really good. So is, I think Inside Out was really good too. I think Coco too. was good. I thought Inside Out was pretty good. Yeah, but I have emotions, and I don't know. Millennium Mouse's emotions are suspect. Um, I I feel like you know, I could be wrong, but he is incorporated somehow with Disney. He's got the Millennium, yeah. the Millennium Falcon, and Mickey Mouse. It's, you've been exposed, to Millennium Mouse. I don't care for it. Your uh, Disney Shield. Um, Bohemian Rhapsody, though. The song? Is that what you're asking? How do I feel about that song? Yeah. That's the one from yes. Wayne's World, right? I just want to. I'm like 95% yeah. sure I just. Yes. As made famous by Wayne's World. Well, what else? Uh, just being a song? Well, that. But okay. Made so famous by the 80s? What's a better way to clarify exactly which song you're talking about? Oh, the song that Queen sings? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I know what you're talking about. It, like I said, it's a fun song, but like, do you really want to listen to it more than once? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, all the time. Really? I don't know. Oh, like, yeah. No, it's a great song. It's so long. You mean more than once in your life? Or like, no, no, like, no. In no, a like, day? Like within... I say once, uh, once a week is probably good. Once a week, <laughs> do you have like, do you have it scheduled? Yeah, every Monday morning. No. It's it's my alarm to get me up, <laughs> and it 
getting all ready for work and on the trip to work. Nice. Um, Cause it is 37 minutes long. How was the movie though? Uh, the movie I thought is really good. Yeah. Um, I don't think that you have to like Queen to enjoy the movie, but yeah. it probably helps. Yeah. I do like Queen. I like a bunch, you know, a, a bunch of their songs. Yeah. And it, it kind of goes through their start all the way up until they have a, there was a big, you know, huge live aid concert in the eighties that yeah. they were a part of. Um, it's just a good, it's, it, it's a good movie. It's, it's definitely worth watching. Like I said, even if you're only can tolerate Queen for like a bite, yeah, I would say it's definitely worth watching. Well, I feel like it's really good uh, background music. Queen is. Uh, yeah, because of its age, I would say you can say that about like a lot of seventies and eighties music. Well, no, I'm saying like I would much rather watch a movie or a musical even using Queen mm-hmm. songs than listen to an album of Queen. Yeah. No, I know. Like it's so you, you you're talking about the Mamma Mia of Queen? It wasn't that what this was? Wasn't this a musical? Or was this uh no, I wouldn't say it's a musical. I okay. guess maybe. It's not like across the universe or anything. Form. No. Okay. So it's just they just practice in it? Yeah, pretty much. Because there's a lot of music in it, right? There's a lot of musical numbers, just not like hyper realistic. I, I wouldn't say like full musical numbers. I'd say there's like parts of songs that they do that they're famous for. You know, you've seen Across the Universe, right? No, I have not. Oh. Um. Okay, well then, never mind then. I don't know why that's <laughs> so the only. The podcast. Yeah, we're shutting it down. That's the Beatles. It's based on all the Beatles songs. Oh, no thanks. Um, but I know uh, a lot of people disagree, but I don't like the Beatles. No, they're no. I like I, the idea well, of the like Beatles. A, I like the, the covers. Yeah, there's a couple of the songs. Beatles. There's a couple songs. I'm like, okay, not bad. Like, like Hey Jude is yeah. fine. But most of their actual um, like original recordings, I'm yeah. not that big of a fan of. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so. Uh, Millennium Mouse says Bohemian Rhapsody is a song that I got to be in the mood for, which I completely agree. Yeah, it's, no, I agree with that. I it, agree with that. It's kind of tonally abusive, <laughs> you know, because it's like really slow, it's really fast. Yeah. And so it's like, it's not, you have to be exactly in the mood for it. Otherwise, yeah. you're, you're not going to enjoy it. Well, and that's why I think the, the movie really captures the the thought process behind that that song. Yeah. And and why why they did certain things and so stuff it, like that. So I think it's, it's good like that. Is the movie more about the song specifically, or is it more about Queen? No, no, it's about Queen. Okay, it's about Freddie Mercury. Yeah, it's specifically. Yeah. Um, because really, I mean, when you think of any of these uh, movies that are based on a band or a musician, you could pick like one out of fifty of their song titles to be the name of a movie, and it would fit. Yeah, that's just the. What that's is probably Fat, one of the most famous songs. Fat Bottom Girls. Fat Bottom Girls. That would be a, that great would be a good title for the movie. <laughs> uh, Millennium Mouse says, will, "Hey, I will don't rock. really care for the Beatles." You still oh, wear finally, tidy whities says hi. What is up? I don't wear tidy whities. Unfortunately, I wish I did. I would be like Walter White. Right. It'd be so much fun. All right. Start making meth. Wait, no, that's that's not quite how it works. Um, that's pretty much how it works. Just tidy whities, and then you, <laughs> you get cancer from tidy whities. You start making meth. Uh huh. But uh, yeah, so would you recommend Bohemian Rhapsody? One hundred percent to everyone. Yeah. No. Uh, yes. No caveats there. No, only if you like Queen. If you hate nope, Queen, I, do you think you could still enjoy you, this movie? Uh, if you hate Queen, probably not. Yeah. Uh, what about if you hate Wayne's World? Uh, then you'll you'll still be fine. Okay. Unless you hate Wayne's World because of Bohemian Rhapsody. Oof. But also, Michael Myers is in this movie. Also, is he really? Yeah, yeah. That makes sense. How did uh, what's his name? Rami Malik. Malik. How did he do? Oh yeah, he, I think he's well. I think he's fantastic. Yeah. 
I now I didn't know Freddie Mercury personally. Uh, personally, but I feel like this guy really the nail on the head. Yeah. Did he sing or did they they dub it? I believe that he did not sing. They had like a another person sing. Okay. Who sounds like it? They they did some kind of thing where they blended. Oh, that's interesting. Vocals. Yeah, yeah. So uh, you know, so it's in between. It's not super like obvious that it's like lip synced or anything like that. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. It sounds. I I would say it sounds just like it though. Yeah. It yeah. Sounds dead on. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, I, I want to see it. Uh, it'll probably Good be a movie. while until it comes out for me. Yeah. It's uh, not in the theaters here, so. But uh, I'm sure I'll end up seeing it at some point. Definitely worth it, I would say. But let us know if you guys are excited for Aladdin. Uh, I I cannot even believe that's coming out. It looks terrible. And we'll be back. When, when is it coming out? Uh, is it soon? I don't know. Ugh, just go away, yeah, Will Smith. I don't, I don't know the day it's coming out. He hasn't made anything good for a long, long time. And if his last good movie, what would you say is his last good movie? The Pursuit um, of Happiness, maybe. Maybe Ali was pretty good. Ali's like oh, the geez, only that was a long time ago. <laughs> Ali's the only acting role, like where he actually acted, that was good. If he's not you don't just think he was good in Pursuit of Happiness. If he's not just playing the same character, the, his charismatic Will self, Will Smith. Mm. He's kind of exhausting. And I feel like Pursuit of Happiness is borderline acting, but it still feels like it's just him with a mustache. Like, I feel yeah. like that's the majority of the acting in that. Like, he does, when he starts crying, that's really powerful. But again, it doesn't feel like he's not just Will Smith. Hmm. Now, I thought for sure you were going to say. Bright after Earth, oh my gosh. <laughs> but yeah, so we'll be back uh, in the next episode of the podcast. Should be hard rain with fire resistant podcast coming out this Sunday. And uh, but yeah, if you're on Twitch, we're going to continue our conversation about the movie Aliens. <laughs>